The iOS 17.2 RC build was just released. Let's take a look at it and see if there are any changes in the journal app that might make you want to start using it when it gets released to the general public. Let's get started. Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. So the RC release for 17.2 just came out and we've been following the beta releases specifically with the journal app for the last few weeks. This is the last video I guess for um, our beta releases on the journal app. Uh, this is the RC, it's the release candidate. So this build is the build that you guys are all gonna see when iOS 17.2 gets released to the general public and you'll all have access to the journal app. So I thought uh, we'd do one more video just kind of take a, a general overview of the journal app and see what's changed, what's new, if anything. Um, and we'll see what's going on with that. But before we get started, please take a moment to like this video if you found it useful. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you can be notified when new how-tos and reviews get released on my channel. Okay, here we go. Okay guys, let's take one more look at the journal app. So let's see, let's talk about all the things that um, you can and, and there isn't access to. So if I force press journal, um, there's nothing there as, as far as a menu goes to like add a new entry. Um, let's open up the journal app. And again, looks pretty much the same. Um, one thing I did notice, you can start a prompt from um, something here. So you'll see the time at home if I click on that, you can edit bookmark. Um, this is actually what it was. If I do a new entry and then I get um, suggestions, I could go here and I could go to this scion and I could force um, tap this and write about it or say without writing um, and remove this as a suggestion. So that's something that's new there. If I go and start a new entry, uh, I can do a new entry here, and then I can start writing. Everything looks the same here. You can bring up some suggestions, recent recommendations as well. Um, so not much has really changed. It's kind of still the same. Um, done there. You can go new entry again, and then I've got the three dots here. I can do the custom date. So that's available as well. All right, so that's uh, the journal app. Even though we didn't see a lot of changes this time, it seems like the app's pretty at, at its final release and stage of what it's gonna look like when it hits the general public. I'm sure Apple will add things to it and it'll further develop. Do you wanna use the journal app? Um, you know, that's kind of up to you. There's day one, which is a, an awesome app. I've used that before. Um, I don't think the journal app really can touch day one at this point. Um, even though the journal app focuses in and it's got the whole Apple ecosystem behind it. And as you see, like things like workouts and photos, it's all integrated there. Um, it it kind of, you're in that thing. Like, like I'm using Apple notes right now for my note taking, um, because it's just built into the OS. So I think Apple will get a lot of traction with that. And, and being that it's a journal app made by Apple and it's in fully integrated, uh, there's still a lot of things it doesn't integrate with like shortcuts. I'm a big proponent of shortcuts and I don't see integration there. Um, there's also just little things that I think the journal app could probably improve on. It probably will improve on as, as it, new releases go out there and, and Apple has the ability to just add things to the journal app uh, seemingly overnight that that are new things that you see um, in there. So it might be something you want to check out. Um, I think there might be other journal apps that have a better development cycle at this point, but I'm sure Apple will catch up quickly. Uh, and that's my take on the journal app. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Again, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and we'll talk to you in a later.